Well, here we are. We are now at the very end of the month of February as we move through the first quarter of 2020. And a lot of fans around the world have been very worried about the future of Star Wars and exactly how Disney is going to handle everything moving forward into the future throughout this entire decade. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was a very complex film and had a lot of production issues behind the scenes, not just because of Kathleen Kennedy, but also because of the creative differences between, of course, Colin Trevorrow and J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio and many of the script rewrites here and there. But a majority of it, yes, had to do with Kathleen Kennedy. Now, the thing about Episode 9 here is that this movie was the culmination of the Skywalker saga. Was it the true culmination of the saga? That's a big question open for a lot of fans out there. One would argue that it is, one would argue that it is not. So when we look at episode 9, this movie went through a lot of changes. There were two initial cuts of the film before the final cut of episode 9, because we went through the first phase of reshoots in late 2018, and then there was a second phase of reshoots in mid-2019. We're talking about like August you know, September, October, leading into later, uh, you know, of that year. So, everything related to the character of Luke Skywalker and actor Mark Hamill, this is where things begin to get very intriguing related to, of course, Star Wars in general, such as with The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the Skywalker saga, they are moving on to their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe. Now, it's explained that Disney has multiple plans to evolve the franchise into something different, yet feel like Star Wars at the same time. However, during production for the last two films of the sequel trilogy, it's noted that Kathleen Kennedy had many issues with the direction of The Rise of Skywalker, and even actor Mark Hamill. It's explained that during the promotion of The Last Jedi, Kathleen Kennedy was very angry with Mark Hamill for speaking about his true feelings about Luke Skywalker and how he did not agree with Ryan Johnson's take on the film. It said that till this day, Kathleen Kennedy is angry with Mark Hamill for telling the fans the truth of how he really felt about his character in The Last Jedi and that during the promotion of the film, Kennedy specifically requested Mark Hamill to reverse his statements on that of which explained as to why Mark Hamill eventually took back what he said. Now, additionally, it's noted that during production for Episode 9, Kennedy was very frustrated with Mark Hamill's dialogue as Luke Skywalker during the initial cut of the film, before Mark Hamill's scenes were cut down to barely anything, and that Kennedy was not impressed with Mark's improvised dialogue for Episode 9, which led to her deleting many of Luke Skywalker's scenes for the final cut of the film. Now, it's noted that Kennedy was also frustrated over J.J. Abrams' initial portrayal of the character in Episode 9, before many changes were made to the movie. So, the thing about Episode 9 here, and even The Last Jedi, is that this movie went through, of course, a lot of, you know, production issues, like I say, a lot of reshoots, a lot of rewrites. Here's the thing about Luke Skywalker. Now, the thing that fans have the biggest problem with the character of Luke and how he was used in both The Last Jedi and, of course, in The Rise of Skywalker is that they did not necessarily tap into what Luke should have been as a Jedi Master. You know, I think that they focused too much on the bitter Luke in The Last Jedi in comparison to the more hopeful Luke that we got at the very end of the movie, not to mention that we did not get a legitimate lightsaber duel. But I want to go into Mark Hamill. I really do respect the man at the time uh, for really trying his absolute best to really just say the truth and how he really felt about Ryan Johnson's take on Luke and the Last Jedi. I mean, we've seen it all. You know, we've seen all the interviews, it's on social media forever, of how Mark Hamill kept saying, you know, he's not my Luke Skywalker, he's more like Jake Skywalker, or how he could not believe of what Ryan Johnson did to the character. Kathleen Kennedy had a lot of issues with that. She was very angry with Mark Hamill for that, and still to this very day, and it's one of the main reasons as to why Mark Hamill did not get the limelight that he really deserved in Episode 9. I don't know if you guys knew, but in Colin Trevorrow's script, Luke Skywalker was going to have a far bigger role in that script before Kathleen Kennedy fired Colin Trevorrow. Even Mark Hamill said that he was on, you know, the, he was on the page with Colin Trevorrow about Luke Skywalker and how he was going to be used in that movie. 
So, when we look at everything of what they're trying to do with, of course, you know, the future of Star Wars, now that Disney is desperate, they're trying to bring back Luke in his own live-action TV series, they're trying to retcon elements of the sequel trilogy, and all these different things with this new Star Wars universe. It's all a matter of whether or not they're going to be able to accomplish that. But, like I say, I mean, Kathleen Kennedy, this is yet another reason as to why she needs to go. She was the one directly responsible for having Mark Hamill pretty much go against his previous words about how he felt about Luke Skywalker. So, with that being said, guys, like I say, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.